everyone. It's really good to see you. I just want to say how much I appreciate you coming to visit my channel. And to those 50 subscribers, thank you for taking the time to subscribe. In this video, I will be unjarring, <laughs> opening up another jewelry jar. I like to go back and forth from just showing my hands and piles of jewelry with showing them, um, showing me opening them and modeling them and maybe give you some sounds. And I like to try displaying them, the necklaces and bracelets maybe on this neck that I have. I not recently but within a couple years I interviewed to be one of those hosts on the home shopping channel. Obviously I didn't make it but I'm gonna kind of uh, try to be like the um, host on JTV the JTV hosts who show the jewelry and describe it and touch it and feel it and and maybe and I'm going to add giving you sounds as well for ASMR so I hope you enjoy here is the jar of jewelry I bought it for $12.99 It's not a huge jar, but looks like it has some interesting pieces inside. So I'm going to go ahead and cut open the tape. do is take out a bunch of it, a bunch of jewelry at first, and put it in a pile in front of me, and then show you the pieces one at a time. First we have a bangle, and I've watched some of the other jewelry jar openings before on other channels and the person showing the jewelry often says marks no markings 925 it's gold or what have you I don't plan on seeing any gold that's for sure but right off the bat I don't have a loop. I'm not going to show you a loop or magnifier, but it does say 925 on this. In there. Right in there. And it's kind of a freeform shaped bangle. That is really cool. For $199, a pure sterling silver bangle. What a way to start. Next, we have this delightful, like, charm bracelet. It's one of those spring loaded. Bengals. I think it's Amy and Anna. Anna and something. Um, bracelets. I don't think this is one of those, but it's from Hallmark. This is from Hallmark and it says love. Let's see. Love you more and hearts. So, red enamel hearts. It's really cute. Next we have a, what looks like a statement necklace with black matte spheres and gold chain. A very thick gold chain. 
and it looks like it's falling apart. I've got black beads falling everywhere, so I'm not going to put this on the neck, but yeah, I think this is one that is a fixer-upper, if you will. But it's, would have, it was what used to be a beautiful necklace, I'm sure. Oop, there goes another one. <laughs> and then this is a beautiful... Oh, I like the sounds. Beautiful black stones, faceted bangle. Some of the stones are missing and the elastic is falling apart, but it used to be a beautiful bangle. Bracelet. Jingle jangle. I don't think I've done a very good job describing so far, so sorry about that. I got this jar around Christmas time. So there's a few holiday items. And we apparently have a traffic jam. Something's holding them up, but I think I got most of them. All right. So here we have a beautiful angel, guardian angel. That could be, that could be holiday or just every day. Gold tone. Here it looks like there's two buttons. I don't, I'm not going to open them, but they look like mother of pearlish, but too, I think they're too light. The heft isn't high enough, so it's probably plastic, but there's a pearlescent tone to them. This is a very sweet necklace. I'm going to have to cut the tag off on this one. Maybe not. I think we can still see what it is. And it is intact. It has a lobster claw clasp. And it looks to be silver tone. A little Y necklace with crystals and pearls. Imitation, of course. That's what it looks like. I don't know I see any marks, but uh, it looks to be costume. And this one, isn't that interesting how the bangle was $1.99 and this was priced at $5.99. And it's a costume, but it's pretty. It's very shimmery, crystals and pearls. Here's another bracelet. Annie and Alex or something like that, again. These are popular, but I believe, excuse me, I'm going to move closer. I believe this was a Hallmark again. It's a Celebrate Life uh, um, selection, assortment. There's a name for that, but it's from the Celebrate Life collection. And it's got a heart and a key and then the little crown from Hallmark. I think that's really cute. Here's the key. And these are fully stainless steel, so they won't tarnish. You don't have to polish them. I generally keep these when I find them. Although I'm not a huge fan of hearts, but... Okay, we have some clip earrings here.
very just regular bold silver knots. They have been worn extensively, you can see on the clip. Someone put some uh, comfort, a comfort tab on there so it wouldn't hurt the back of the ears. But I know someone who wears clip earrings, so we'll ask them if they would like those. Those were $1.99 and cost two. Okay. This is a ring. It's costume. Um, I'd like to think that that was amethyst, but <laughs> it's a purple rhinestone in there. But uh, the, the ring is gold tone, obviously. There's no markings. But it's a cute little knot ring. It's pretty. Here's another ring. It's very fancy, like cost. Um, it's costume, but it has uh, an adjustable. Um, it's all clear crystals, rhinestones, and it's uh, like a cocktail ring. It's very glamorous, very pretty to wear out to dinner. I'm putting on my JTV host face now. Mm. Okay. This is a pretty one, if I can get it untangled. It's gold. Uh-oh. No, I'll go ahead and describe this. It's a gold hoop costume. No markings. But it's kind of cute, it's wavy. And it has a saddleback closure. So, there you are. Don't know if there's a match to that. This one charm bracelet. There's a charm from Indiana. There's a charm from, it looks like it might be Sterling. Yep, Sterling. Um, it was obviously from a church, Bible school, or um, confirmation classes maybe. And this one is uh, Seal of the State of Indiana. That is uh, sterling as well. This, this, neck, this whole bracelet is practically all sterling. This has little bells on it. This has the Last Supper, again sterling. They're all sitting at the table. The disciples and Jesus. <clears throat> and we have a little burrow here with a tag, Death Valley. And that's Sterling. I'm sorry if it's not focusing. This one is in Illinois, Chicago, Peoria, and Springfield. I don't think that one's sterling. This one looks to be hmm, just a silver with turquoise, free form or abstract piece. And this is a San Juan Capistrano, 1776 California charm. And this is a little man, looks like a miner sense if you were in California. And finally this uh, Yellowstone Old Faithful Geyser charm. And I believe 
No, I'm not sure that's sterling. Oh yes. Oh yes, it says sterling. So, and that was $3.99, so that's a good, that paid for, I would say, the whole jar itself. That's, that's a beautiful, I gotta display that. Whoever put this together put a lot of thought into it, and it's a very personal piece. It's interesting to see pieces like this. If someone decided they didn't want it anymore, or someone passed away and, and they had to move it on, um, donate it. I don't know, moving on. Um, this is a heart bracelet. This is a heart bracelet. And it says China. Cookie Lee. Cookies Lee, Cookie Lee. I think I heard about that on one of the other jewelry jar videos. It's a cute little bracelet. Hearts sideways, toggle clasp. This necklace is a combination of a peace sign and a heart. Enam pink enamel on a gold tone chain. That's quite delightful for a little girl. I know someone that might like that. This piece is a bracelet. It has three strands. It's very uh, unique, modern, I guess. Rustic, too. I don't know, rustic or modern, I don't know. But it has um, its leather strap, chain, and cotton cording yarn. It would go like that. And it's interesting because the buckle is like a belt buckle. You put it through here, find the hole, and you put it through just like a belt. <laughs> kind of interesting. I guess I've been lucky lately. I haven't had many tangles. This one is giving me a little bit of a tangle mess, but I'll show you if I can get this one out there. This is an angel. It's a very unique angel. It looks like it's it swivels and it's cloisonne with white crystals with rhinestones. Very pretty delicate and on the other end it has like a not Celtic knot but just a piece a silver artistic piece and on this end it's an angel so I, I'm thinking it's a bookmark since it doesn't really have a clasp Say. Turns. Swivels. And then we have that silver piece. We have a choker. Very tiny gold seed beads. Very light. It has a spring ring clasp, gold tone. It looks like it was either handmade or it could have been in a factory, made in a factory as well. Pretty. Let's see what that sounds like. It's very quiet. It doesn't make a sound. 
And then this one, I believe, is a double layer necklace. It has both a small gold bar and a large gold bar. I'm not going to take the time to untangle it, but it's from The Limited, which was a department store in the 70s and 80s, I think. It may still be around, I'm not sure. And, um, yeah. So, it's a double. I'll have to spend some time getting it untangled, but you get the idea. This is the first layer, the long layer, which looks like a happy smile, a smiley face, gold bar, and then this other gold bar is smaller and it's matte. It's like diamond cut. So it would be, it would be like this. The long necklace would be about 20 inches, and the shorter one maybe 16. So there's the longer end, and then the shorter end would would be maybe up here. But it's definitely a two two p um, a layer necklace with two strands, and it has a lobster claw clasp. I'll have to figure out how to do it. Time for another pile. Keep dropping it. Keep dropping the stuff. Sorry. Okay, there was one big piece that made it easy for everything else to come out. I dropped something. Excuse me. This is a ring. It's a cameo. It is adjustable. It is gold tone. And it's very cute. And very light. This is a package and it says SB in 1998. Uh oh, sorry, my cat. It's not feeling very well. Okay, lapel pin by Autumn. Autumn. Okay, I don't know what SB stands for. And this is interesting because um, I received this in another jewelry jar. It's a beautiful, beautiful tassel type necklace. It's about 24 inches long, but the back has been knotted, so it's short. It appears shorter, but, and then on the end are black pear-shaped crystals, or faceted beads, and with gold end caps. So it's really cool. I like it. Nice to have two of those. I might double them up. The crystals are just absolutely gorgeous. Ever sparkling. Beautiful. This has never been worn. It still has the fashion jewelry tag. So I get just as excited about costume jewelry as the real precious metal and gemstone jewelry. I'm just a jewelry fanatic. Can't help it. Oh, this is cute. It's plastic, but you know, I, I just love it. It's like a gumball ring. <laughs> I used to go to the 25 cent, the quarter gumball machines all the time when I was little. Sometimes I still do. And um, I don't want to admit that, but isn't that cute for a little girl? A little plastic blue gemstone in there with filigree. See, I like to describe the cheap jewelry just like the inexpensive jewelry that's fun oh this is gorgeous 
It's a beautiful butterfly pin. I don't know if you can pick up the colors, but it's opalescent, like iridescent colors, with crystal eyes. It's really pretty. Just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, no marks, but I'm assuming it's really well made from a company like Monet or Na Napier. Or, um, and it has like little tinsel pieces inside taken from the Christmas tree garland. <laughs> so, um, this is a pin as well. It's gorgeous. It has big crystal pear shapes and baguette shaped crystals and a round one in the center. Getting a lot of rings. This one's adjustable. It's a uh, gold framed black oval stone. Very light and adjustable. Here's a beautiful big necklace with a lobster clock clasp. It is costume jewelry with white plastic beads and clear plastic beads. I enjoy the sounds of that. Someday I'd like to decorate my home with just a bunch of these strands, either either unfastening them and letting them just drip down one strand or putting them together like that and letting them hang. Trying to make sure I have shown you everything so far. Get another, oh, sorry, get another load. And then we just have one more after that. Okay. This is pretty. And it looks like it's not been worn. It looks brand new. This is from Pier 1. It looks like somebody decided not to keep it. Wow. Oh, that is gorgeous. That is brand new. It was $20. And it was $10 at Goodwill. Wow, what a find. And my whole jar was $12.99. Isn't that beautiful? Statement necklace with cotton, yarn, faux, turquoise stones and clear rhinestones with gold feathers and crystal spheres here on the side. And I like the double chain. Wow, that is so pretty. That would, that makes me wonder why someone would donate that, but I guess they didn't like it. If you don't like something, you don't like it. Might as well someone let someone else enjoy it. This is a pretty piece. It has some pretty uh, rainbow, <laughs> rainbow colored crystals iridescent, some clear crystals, some black uh, beads, and silver. Chain link. This is really pretty. I like it. Unfortunately, it's broken, but if you've watched my other videos, you know that I have findings, and I actually repair jewelry, and I design jewelry, and make jewelry. So I have lots of ways of repairing this. So, that's beautiful. And that was $8 at Goodwill. I have well superseded the cost of the jar. Then we have this uh, beautiful little mat. It's like a sea glass beads and it's long. It's about 30, 24, maybe 30 inches. Oh, sorry. It's an eyeglass holder. That's the 
dead giveaway right there. But as you've seen in my other videos, and if you know me, I will be creating some pieces from this, either bracelets or another necklace, earrings, who knows. But this is a super duper long eyeglass holder. This was three dollars at Goodwill and it goes with my maybe I'll double it up with the other eyeglass holder I got from one of the other jars that had purple crystals like that so I wish I had more time for each piece I hear that on the home shopping channels, they only have a very short time to describe each piece. Here is a simple gold bar. This has a big C on the tag, a big C. I don't know what that means, sorry. Maybe Cookie Lee or something. And it has a gold bar for the necklace. This was uh, four dollars, and it has a lobster claw clasp. Costume jewelry, of course. These other pieces. I'm going to try to talk a little more quickly. Um, this. It's all one piece. It has. Two, no. It has two strands to start out with and then they added more, more chain. That's pretty. Look at all the tiny little tassels. They're so cute. Tiny little tassels and tiny little gold spheres. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that on the neck. And this one they charge $10. This is from Loft, Loft. I don't know that, I'm not familiar with that. I just love those tassels. They're a little, um, knotted up right now, but once that's detangled, that will look very, very nice. And um, here is the Loft tag. It has a little rhinestone, little clear crystal on the tag. Here's the last one from this pile. Oh, and there's an earring. It's bronze with a silver piece in the front, long oval. Looks to be engraved. Very pretty. Just a shepherd's hook, no marks, so it's costume. And here's another necklace. I'm sorry, two necklaces. Okay, so this is the first one. Pretty. Oops. Very pretty crystal with lobster claw clasp. Oh, got another bar necklace, only this one is silver. And this one has a shield on it. Coat of arms, maybe. Coat of arms. Um, no marks. For a store, I would think this would be from a store. So, I don't know. Looks to be a coat of arms or something. About 18 inches long. And then our last. Okay. This is worth the whole jar. 
cats, only you don't see the cats until you move the hoops sideways. Oh, isn't that awesome? Oh, I love it. They're hoop earrings and they're cats with little green eyes. See what I mean? You don't see the whole cat with the individual pieces until you turn it, look sideways. Oh, that is adorable. Yep, it's definitely a keeper. This is a pin, another holiday pin of a reindeer with crystals on the collar. Here is a watch. It opens and closes. It's in China. Stainless steel bag with rhinestones. Okay, it's a bangle type. And then we have two fancy, <laughs> colorful floral hoops. I'm sorry, floral dangle earrings on shepherd hooks. Wow, looks to be bronze or brass. Okay. Next we have more hoop earrings. Um, I don't see any marks. Let's see. Mm, there might be. I don't think so. These are only 99 cents. So just regular silver hoops costume. Um, I really want to see if it says because it has like tarnish marks and tarnish, you know, leaves a black stain on it, but I think it's just because it's old. Maybe never worn. Oh, this is a gorgeous pin, this brooch. It's like a lemon, lemon lime colored color. Beautiful marquee pear and round crystals. I love getting pins like that. I display them. I like making shadow boxes with pins in them. Here's another pin with white stones and a clear crystal. Here is a beautiful black plastic faceted bead bracelet. Stretchy. This is a um, ring with an eyeball. <laughs> That's interesting. Never seen anything like that before. It's green eye. I always wanted green eyes. <laughs> and then this is pretty. Oh, we're all stars. Cookies 2001. Sterling. This is a sterling bracelet for cancer awareness. See, isn't that cute with the pink ribbon and the pink rhinestones? That's special, that's a special bracelet. And you'll see it says sterling here at the bottom. Well, I don't think you can see it, but, and there's a little bear. There must be some meaning behind it, but that's a beautiful bracelet. Oh, it says, oh, I thought it said sterling. I guess not, it's Avon. It's Avon with the old type fold over clasp. But still, that's such a special bracelet for cancer awareness, cancer research. There's a pin. Show my patriotism with the red, white, and blue. Pretty. I like it. It's very light, too. I received a lot of these bracelets in a former jar. But this time I just got the one. And then we have a stretchy seed bead bracelet. It's very simple. They charge 99 cents for that one. This one is a, uh, looks to be a choker. No, maybe a, a sweater clutch. Maybe it's a, a, a sweater clutch, I guess. This was $8, so there's no markings though. But I like the way the 
clasp opens and closes. That's that's cool. So I guess you put it through here and it shuts or closes, clamps down. But it may be broken, so it's a nice chunky heavy chain. This one is a Christmas tree with beautiful blue, green, and teal crystal rhinestones. Uh, no markings on that. Maybe Avon or someplace like that. Um, now this is very interesting. Looks like there's wax inside. I have no idea what this is. It's metal. Helmet? Incense burner? I don't know, but it's metal. <laughs> this is another Christmas pin. Koala bear holding a candy cane. <laughs> and this is a choker. I like the clasps. Very large lobster claw clasps. We're at the bottom now. I'm going to go ahead and pour this out. And see what is left in this $12.99 jar. And I hear my voice echo. Okay, nothing left on that. Another one of these. These were six dollars a piece, so they're worth something. This is a some kind of charm. It's a crown with three circles under it. It's cute, but I don't know what you do with it. I don't want to make a pendant that has an upside down crown. I don't know, maybe that isn't a crown. I don't know. We have another one. Maybe they were earrings. Maybe so. And then we have this earring all along. Shepherd hook. And the last thing for 99 cents, I have to open it. It's in this bag. Oh, I'm going to cut it. And it says, Saxman, Alaska. Looks like it's a totem pole or something. Brand new. So anyway, there you have it. I hope my descriptions were clear and plain enough to understand. I appreciate you watching the whole way through. Subscribe below if you liked it, or just give me a thumbs up. I appreciate those too. It was really good to be with you today, tonight, this afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Appreciate your company, and I plan to be back real soon on the Platinum Bliss channel. So thanks again for your time. Take care and bye-bye.